morning. So we're in Lake Forest subdivision in Onspurl, just off of Highway 54. And Lake Forest is one of the larger subdivisions in Onspurl. It's very higher price point homes. It's it depends on what you're looking for. They go between three hundred thousand and six hundred thousand. It's a big price cap. But that's what you're looking at. On one end, on the end closer to the bypass, it's closer to three. The end closer to Philpot, which is not much of a gap, but not much of a space in there in the sense of miles. But the closer you go towards Philpot, like a few blocks, you're looking at closer to six hundred. And then the closer you get to fifty four, it's it's also closer to six hundred, like four hundred, five hundred, six hundred. Right now, there's two active in Lake Forest. I'm going to start driving. Right now, there's two active. <clears throat> and there is one pending. Uh, and, and I looked at the past records. And in the past 12 months, since how far I went back, they went, uh, there's been 16 closings in Lake Forest. And that is substantial, even for a subdivision this size. Like that's a lot of houses closed, 16. And they all range from, I think one, one was like 285, but that was a while back. 285, 285,000. And they go all the way up to, I think the highest one I found was 625,000. Now, as you can see in the camera, Almost, I think they all do. All of them has two car garages for the most part. Lake Forest does have an HOA. Can't swear to the exact dues or anything like that, but they do have an HOA. I've heard that they also have a tennis court. A community tennis court, so that's nice. It's been around for a while. I heard someone say 2007. I can't swear to that number. But it's been around for a good piece. Uh, and as you might notice in the footage, there's, there's some people walking. It's kind of gloomy outside today. Not a great day for walking, but there is people out walking. And Lake Forest connects to other subdivisions, like you got the springs that we just passed. Uh, you've got... Tanglewood Park, back there to our left. You got the green belt running right through Lake Forest, so if you're a walker, that's a great thing to have. Green belt, it connects. Most people in Oldsboro know the green belt, it connects several subdivisions in Oldsboro. Walking trail. The, generally speaking, for the homes in Lake Forest, you're looking at a square footage of 2,000 to 5,000 square feet. And that is a huge gap in relation to the huge price point gap. So I mean, if your price point is low, if your price point is closer to three hundred thousand, it's doable. Just like if it's higher towards five or six hundred, it's also doable. From what I hear, a lot of people like it up in here, though. It's a desirable, it's a desirable area. Popular. It's right near 54, so you're close to all the shopping um, dollar stores, literally, like, around the corner back there. <clears throat> and it's kind of, it's not in, it has an Owensboro address, but it's not directly in town. It's kind of on the outskirts of Owensboro, and I think we're hitting the edge of Lake Forest now, maybe. Oh, there's a pending sign. That's one of the listings that are pending up in here. Yeah, like the lane in the Lake Forest is up there. But, uh, generally speaking, you're looking at three bed to six bath, or three bed to six bed, and that is a huge difference. But there's all ranges up in here in that, generally speaking. And for bass, you're looking at three bath to six bath. If you're looking for a smaller house or a huge house, Either way, what you're looking for might be here. Um, let's see if there. Yeah. This is Lake Forest. It's actually kind of hilly up in here, just a little bit. Not real hilly, but a little, some slopes here and there. Always, if anyone's looking to buy, sell, invest.
307-302-6378. I know there's enough for sale, son. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment.